Hi, I thought it might be a fun vlog to do for some of you who are wondering if it's your first time what to pack to Laura Palooza in Springfield, Missouri in July 2017. My first step here is to create a spreadsheet with everything that you could possibly want in the days of the week up here so that you don't forget anything. I swear by Updating it. It is a great idea. Now, many people may see maybe in full Laura Palooza, Laura Ingalls Wilder attire. I made this dress, but for this trip, I think we're going to skip it. However, I am going to bring the bonnet that I made for pictures with friends. It's always fun to pose in front of Rocky Ridge or in the Palm, in um, Plum Creek with your friends with your hats. Most of us, however, will be wearing some combination of pants, or capris. I suggest bringing both because you never know if there's going to be a cool evening or a cool restaurant or the conference room is just going to run cool. Now to go with that because we don't know if it's going to be cool, I have as well a cardigan to remind you again that the conference room may be chilly and we may not have as much control over it so please bring something and just know what you're going to need to do luckily this year we are at the university plaza hotel so since we're not in a dorm this year we don't need to bring hangers or towels or alarm clocks or anything like that and actually as i was going to say what to wear on top honestly the always fashionable prior Laura Palooza t-shirt or one from any of the home sites that you have visited or events that you have been to. I need to learn how to edit videos so that I can cut this out. Um, but also I would say for the first night, you're going to have been traveling. We know that. Just come as you are. Whatever is comfortable to you for the welcome reception. I will probably be wearing something like this because I am a proud alumni and I just have a ton of things that have my school's name on the front of it and that's just something I would suggest that you might find fun to do is to find something that actually you think says something about you to help us remember you know the new people who you are and just something fun okay for me it's fun maybe not to everyone else for me it's fun and also let's see here we're moving to other things flip-flops always 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 travel with these you don't know when you're going to want them or what you're going to need but always have them and sandals as well because that is the kind of shoe i like to wear with my flip flops so they are in there uh the hotel is actually kind of built around a courtyard with the swimming pool in so I'm going to bring my swimsuit because you never know we might want to take a dip and there's also a workout room. So, you know you. If you think you might work out, though I can tell you Laura Palooza is a busy time. Maybe it's perfectly busy, but, or you may want to, but they do have a fully equipped fitness center if you would like to use it. I can't talk. Have fun with that. Is my bag of toiletries, makeup, so I know you're always 
supposed to have three ounce bottles, but that is if you put it in your carry-on bag. If you put it on your chips luggage, anything goes. You can pick any size bottle you want. So that is my biggest, one of my other big tips is to do that. Another tip, don't forget your power cord for whatever it is you're going to want to charge. Your phone, your laptop, your camera, anything. Remember the power cords. That is something I have on the list. And as we found out at Laura Palooza 2010, rain can always happen. So bring some rain gear so that you are not caught by surprise. Let's see, let me look at my list. Oh, and let's not forget any of a GPS if you would like it, your rental car confirmation, your airplane ticket, your hotel confirmation, an extra bag if you think you're going to have a lot of fun at the gift shop at Rocky Ridge. All that stuff to have in here ready to go. My other thing is to bring a backpack, especially if you're me and you're coming by plane. And I put in here anything that probably my laptop Anything I want to keep with me or I think I'm going to want to be entertained by on the plane. I have it in here. Easy to fit under the seat and available to me. And one of the things I'm going to need is reading material. And don't forget your books because we will be having an author's reception. And I will put the names of the authors down below. But those are the people that you're going to want to bring their books so that you can get them autographed and take home. So that is about it. That is my suggestions for what to pack for Laura Palooza. If you have any questions, um, leave them below and I will get back to you. Oh, and I forgot my other thing is I am probably not going to want to carry a purse around. So I have a wristlet that I take so I can just stick it in a backpack or anything else and I have all my necessities right there. So like I say if you have any questions leave them down below and I will be happy to answer them. Uh, it's only 23 days right now to Laura Palooza so I can't wait to see you all. Bye.